Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's projects, I'll be using these wood blocks and this wood glue to create modern DIYs. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. For this first step, I'm just laying down a piece of wax paper so I can have less of a mess to clean up. I kind of had a pattern, but not really, but I'll explain a little more later on in the video. I'm trying not to use too much glue because this can get a little messy and when using this glue you have to let it dry for a little bit because the blocks will fall apart. And if that happens just put them back together and then hold them in place for a few seconds before continuing. I let this strip of glue right here sit for a minute or two and now I'm just figuring out where I want to place these blocks. As I said before, I kind of had a pattern going on but not really. I started off gluing two wood blocks together, then three, then four, then I went back to two blocks and then three blocks and then back to two blocks. I didn't use four blocks as much as I use the two and three blocks. As y'all can see, I'm just placing the blocks anywhere. I'm just making sure that the sides are kind of leveled with each other. I used a total of 70 pieces, which would have been 72 if I would have used these, making it be the whole box, but these two were damaged, so I didn't use these. The purpose of me putting the wax paper down was to prevent my blocks from sticking to my table, and as you guys can see, the wax paper peels right off. This is 100% dry and completely sturdy. I took my piece outside to be spray painted and I'm using my good old metallic silver spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. So now that my project is dry, we're going to get started with the mirror tiles. Now I'll be using two different size mirror tiles and these mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but I'm reusing these so I'll be adding a little glue. As y'all can see, the top one is slightly thinner than the bottom one and I'll be using that top one for all the rows with the two blocks. It's better if you apply the glue directly to the blocks instead of the mirror tiles because the glue tends to dry faster when applied to the mirror tiles. I'm gluing the bigger mirror tiles down on the rows with the threes and the four blocks. All the mirror tiles that's on the edges on both sides will be hanging off about by an inch. I had to glue them down that way or else they wouldn't have been able to fit. Now I'm cleaning all my mirror tiles off before we proceed to the last step. For this last step, I'm adding my command strips that I purchased from Dollar General. Since I never really use any measurements, what I like to do is I like to place a command strip down, then place the other command strip right on top lock it in place and then peel the back off so that way when I stick it on the wall it aligns perfectly. I'm really loving my new wall decor piece. It was quick and easy and it kind of reminds me of kitchen wall towels but let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For this next project, I am doing a pattern which just consists of multiple rows of three wood blocks. I'm done with my first layer which is 30 blocks in total and now I'm just going to glue down a second layer. 
I didn't glue all my wood blocks to the top because I wanted to show y'all how I'm just going to glue the outer wood blocks down and leave the middle open. I left this middle piece open so I can be able to stick my flowers into my vase and now I'm just putting on a third layer. This is the front and this is the back and I actually should have left this whole entire middle section out from the top to the bottom since I'm not going to cut my flowers but watch me make it work y'all. For this step, I'm just gluing some more wood blocks together to help keep the stems to my flowers in place. So I jumped to project number three and all I'm doing is gluing a row of 10 blocks together. So I ended up gluing three more rows of 10s, making it be 40 pieces in total. And all I'm gonna do is glue them all together. For these noticeable gaps, all I'm going to do is fill them in with more wood glue and if you are going to recreate this project then you can choose to wipe the glue off or not since it won't be showing. I chose to let my glue just sit there and I did make another layer to combine my base. I'm using that same spray paint to cover my vase and my door wreath. Project number two is completely dry and all I'm doing is positioning my mirror tiles before gluing them down. I placed the bigger mirror tile down, then the thinner one, then back to the bigger one and so on. And now I'm just gluing everything down. This row is all completed. Now I'm positioning my mirror tiles horizontally before gluing them down. I'm done with the middle section and now I'm just doing the top section exactly how the bottom is. I'm just placing my flowers right in the center of my blocks and I think I'm going to add some more flowers because these ones are looking a little bit skimpy. This vase was quick, easy, and simple to make. I'm loving how it turned out, but let me hear your thoughts down in the comments. I'm doing project number three, a little similar to project number two, but I'm adding in the square mirror tiles that I purchased from Ife Remark. I like to lay my mirror tiles out first before gluing them down so that way I can be sure it fits perfectly. I'm wiping these off a little bit before proceeding. For this next step, I'm just placing these rectangular mirror tiles over the square mirror tiles. I added five square mirror tiles on each side. As you all know, this third project is a door wreath and initially I wanted to use this pearl wrap as the holder to hold my door wreath up, but the flowers were just in the way and also I didn't like how it was covering up those two mirror tiles on the side. So I ended up just taking it out and gluing it directly to the back of my wood blocks. I wanted to give my wreath a completely different look so I decided to add these LED lights that I purchased from Dollar Tree and all I'm doing is just sticking them right through the middle. I'm not using any glue. Now I'm just placing the flowers inside and that's why I had to remove the pearl wrap because it just was not going to work with these flowers in the way like that. I'm taking the remainder of the string lights that I have left and I'm just wiring it through my flowers. I 
Now I'm gluing my battery packs down and securing any leftover string that's left. This can be used as a table vase, which I absolutely love, or it can be used as a glam door wreath. Comment below what you would use this for and which project you like best. Don't forget to like and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.